Hello again and welcome to another Ultimate Game Host video tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about some console commands, how to find out what the different commands are that are available, and how you might want to use them in your own server config files. So we're starting out with uh, HLSW loaded up. If you want to learn about HLSW and how to set it up with your server, uh, go back to our channel page and there is a video that will show you all about how to do that as well as the FTP pieces that we'll be looking at today. Um, to learn the different commands you can use, there's actually a command to use to learn the other ones. Uh, CVAR list, all one word. Hit enter on that and you get all 1,000 commands back and this is everything you can type into the server console. Uh, particular values will be more useful than others. For instance, um, let me get a uh, let me get a notepad open here so we can write down the ones we want to look at. So, for instance, if we look around here, we can see there's one for auto team balance, which basically, if one team has five players and the other team has three, it'll automatically move someone so both teams have four. And by default, that's set to one, but Let's say that's one of the ones we want to change on, on the server for demo purposes. We'll just write that down and make a note of it. And let's see, what else? What else looks good? Flashlights, currently not enabled. I, I think might as well enable flashlights. Flashlights are always handy. And let's see what else we have here. Time limit's another good one. Usually it's set to nothing, but typically you want to set a rate on that. And that's done in uh, minutes for that value. Now these two values are binary, so they're either a 1 or a 0. 1 turns on flashlight, 0 leaves it off. 1 turns on team balance, 0 leaves it off. Time limit you can set to 5 minutes, 60 minutes, whatever. We'll go through the actual settings in a little bit and we can look around there's a few other ones that are can be useful the SV variables these are the server config commands for instance we talked about in the last video the SV allow download so that that map could come down and again things like SV cheats different things like that and basically any commands you have a question of like what's SV net viz dist and apparently it's test networking visibility distance and we're setting the region the region the world of the world the server is set in that sort of thing there's all these different different variables you can set up and use with your server and work with so if we want to look at a couple of these variables, let's see, what did we have selected? We had MP auto team balance. And if we type that in just by itself, oops, I gotta turn on the auto scroll. There we go. Uh, it tells us that right now MP auto team balance is on one. So for the demo, we'll we'll set that to zero. I'll make a note to set that to zero. Let's see what's going on with the flashlights. currently set to zero so we'll turn flashlights on for the demo and if we type in so you can see if you type in a command without anything after it it gives you the current value of that command as well as the the current uh, about what what that command actually is a little bit of a description about what it is so we'll set the time limit to uh, go with 40 minutes per map when we do this so Let's go ahead and set some of these variables through the uh, through FTP. So, got some extra stuff in here. So we'll use the FTP link we learned about in one of the other videos to get there, and go into our config directory. Now let's download the current server.cfg. We'll go ahead and overwrite because it's the same size anyway, and let's open that folder. Now let's open that file. Um, 
resize that a little bit. Pardon me. Okay. So we have some commands in there that, that were also in that CVAR list. SV all talk, for instance, and um, the passwords, the RCOM password, the host name for the server, all of that can be set in here. And let's try changing those values that we looked at. So team balance we want to set to zero. And flashlight we want to turn on. And time limit. We want to set 40 minutes, I believe. So we can save that file locally. So now this copy is updated. If I refresh this directory with uh, F5, you can see the file size change. So I want to upload, and it's going to overwrite. Say OK. That's now changed. And let's execute our server.cfg, you might remember this from the uploading maps tutorial. So that's executed. And let's see how those commands changed. Auto team balance. You can see up here it was set to 1. It's currently set to 0 and it tells you the default was 1. So that command was successful. No more team balancing. Flashlights. That auto scroll keeps turning off. That little S down here is what you want to hit to turn auto scroll on and off. So flashlights are now turned on instead of off. And let's have a look at the time limit. It is 40 minutes. So all those commands took, and all we had to do was put them in server.cfg and upload them to the server. And in the next tutorial, we'll go over how to do some of these different commands uh, using the actual console for the server itself, using the in-game Archon rather than using HLSW. HLSW is nice, but if you're in the middle of a game, you don't necessarily want to alt-tab out and use this to make all your console commands happen. And we'll go over that in the next video. Thank you for watching.